Yeah. Boom,
take that text off of it all. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so. Uh, this is Dave Davis. You might have seen me on What Game Now and Tabletop Sports Network and Tiny Hot Rod Association or whatever. Many things. Um, I had this idea just to do like a daily thought thing, right? So just come on and talk about the channel and some of the stuff that we have planned and just a little bit more about us, I guess, and um, and uh, talk about some game stuff that's on my mind. So, um, so first of all, the channel, um, we got a few things uh, going on. I'm, we're really trying to find some things that we can do that don't require as much uh, editing and so on and so forth so that we can just get more content out there but we, I do still want to make some of those um, uh, great the, the graphics and stuff because I really enjoy doing it and I think it adds a lot of information right so um, not sure who's all going to join today since it's the first one but I plan on doing this kind of like uh, on the weekdays um, around the same time, around the three o'clock time. Um, hopefully I'll have the time to do that. So if you're out there, if you're watching, don't, uh, go ahead and chat and ask questions and so on and so forth. But, um, but as far as the channel, so we want to do some more heavy gear content, obviously. Um, Nick and I uh, have been working on that, uh, working on heavy gear in general in a few ways. Um, I also want to bring some some new content up. Um, I've been a big fan of Blood Bowl and basically sports managers games in general. Um, I want to bring some more Hot Wheels content, things like that. Um, you know, I just want to, it's kind of like, uh, and hopefully here soon we'll have some interesting news on some of the actual games that uh, our own games that we're working on uh, not quite to the reveal stages of that yet we got some more things to to work out so if you're um, and we also would like suggestions you know uh, on the content you want to see I know we've had some in the past and we haven't got quite got to do that we had some when we were doing our guild ball content for tabletop sports network um, and then um, Ethan uh, with with the pandemic, Ethan hasn't been able to be out um, because of, you know, uh, issues with that. He doesn't want to get sick and uh, for good reason. Uh, I'll leave it at that. But um, hopefully we'll be able to do some more of that content soon. Um, but I also have a friend, uh, Gordon, who wants to do some board game content with me. Um, get back to doing some stuff with Nick on Heavy Gear and Warcaster Neo Mechanica. I really would like to bring some War Machine content. So it's just a, we're a few people trying to do a lot of things. And uh, so really want to bring as much as we can. So be on the lookout for some cool stuff coming up soon. Um, a lot of great ideas. Just have to have the time to execute them. So, um, you know. Like I said, feel free to make suggestions and so on and so forth. Uh, thank you so much to the 400 plus people that have already subscribed to our channel. Um, thank you all that have shared it. Uh, sharing is most is is kind of more important. Commenting, sharing, interacting with us uh, that you know feeds the algorithm, so to speak. So uh, also on the long form content, when we do games that last like two and three hours, I'd like to know if you you'd like to see that split up into like turns or rounds or whatever so it's easier for you to digest um, so that's the part about the channel so just a lot more stuff that we want to get done uh, do some more painting and all kinds of things so um, getting things scheduled with new jobs and things like that and everybody else's schedule uh, you know just hasn't allowed us to do it as much. Uh, Nick does have some more of the Building a Better Army already uploaded, and that'll be coming out. The next episode will be coming out Wednesday. So, um, as far as the channel goes, that's cool.
what I'd like to talk about too is um, Blood Bowl. Uh, end of last year, um, we had, let's see, yeah, Blood Bowl. Uh, end of last year, we had the new, um, you know, 2020, whatever you want to call it, Blood Bowl, the season two, or the new season come out uh, with the two player set. And um, now they've put out the new the teams from that set and uh, in separate teams and so on and so forth. And, you know, it's uh, from what I've seen of the rules, uh, I haven't, I, I ordered. Uh, two player set uh, March my birthday um, and my local um, shop has been uh, having trouble getting that stuff in uh, I guess it's due to, to COVID delays and stuff um, with with uh, Europe Britain specifically uh, England specifically being locked down at that point I'm sure it's hard to export things during those types of lockdowns so i'm waiting for it to come and as soon as it gets here and i get a chance to look over the rules a little more uh, i have michael and tristan and a couple other people that we've that i've worked with before who i uh, want to start a league and i'm, I'm really like to record those games and do some sort of tabletop sports network version of that but um those rules look really good um the video game version, Blood Bowl 3, should be coming out um, in like August or something like that. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, so, you know, hopefully we'll bring some more of that content. Um, I guess kind of what I want to talk about with Blood Bowl is... I, I don't like to be the complainer about uh, GW. They, they've done a lot that uh, these... This two-player set is an amazing uh, amount of stuff in, in, in one box, especially including the hardcover rule book and everything. Um, I just think they drag their feet a little bit when it comes to Blood Bowl and don't uh, put out enough content uh, regularly. I know they have their money makers, and Blood Bowl is not one of them. So, you know, you got you put your Warhammer 40K releases, your Age of Sigma releases ahead of your box game stuff um but i think blood bowl especially in its new incarnation is is an underrated game that a lot of people some people don't even know exists or they've heard of it and um you know it just they've heard of it but don't understand what it is and i think there's a lot more non-gamers out there who would enjoy getting into it um they got animals running around in here um cats and dogs and whatnot um but who don't you know who would get into it sports fans specifically because it is basically uh, american football with you know but more violent i tell people so uh it is wacky it is a little more random than some people like um but i think that it's awesome so uh you know comment on this video say something in the chat or whatever let me know what kind of uh, uh if you'd like to see the blood bowl content um just games we play or would like to follow our league once we get it started and so on and so forth um but i'm really looking forward to what to see what they're going to do with blood bowl in the next you know over this the rest of this year really and truthfully um so uh it's hard to do an in-depth conversation about it without another person on, but I did want to talk about it because it is uh, probably, along with Guild Ball, uh, one of my favorite miniatures games because I like low count miniatures game, low model count miniatures games, and also, uh, even though I don't watch a lot of sports anymore, um, for some reason I'm obsessed with sports-based games. So, um, we also have a, and I'll put it in the description under this video uh, once the live is done. Uh, it did make, well, it did make a Discord for it, but it's more of a local one, so I won't, I won't put that on there. Um, but if anybody has any um, 
good uh, Facebook groups or discords or anything like that that deal with Blood Bowl in general, um, you know, let me know or let us know. Um, been doing some more painting on it as well, and I'll and I'll have to make some more videos on that because uh, I uh, still haven't gotten those dwarfs, <laughs> you know, painted up yet. So completely painted up yet. Um, so it's enough thing about Blood Bowl, but I uh, I think their miniatures are getting better, uh, even better, and they're getting close to getting all the teams that you know have been done over the the lifespan of the game. There's just so much there. Um, besides the dwarfs, I'm really looking forward to um, a few other. Uh, the I, I like the smaller races, so um, hobbits and you know goblins and stuff like that. So hopefully to see some more of that too. Um, but like I said, just let us know. Um, another thing I really I wanted to talk about too. So in my research for um, sports miniatures games that um, that aren't Blood Bowl or Guild Ball, uh, I know Dread Balls out there and a few others. Um, I happened upon something pretty interesting that some of you may know and some of you may not, because it wasn't a a big thing, I guess, in the U.S., um, or as big in the U.S. as it was in Europe, um, and uh, just doing some research, and I found it. Um, it is called Sabutio, and if anybody's heard of it, please um, comment on your experiences with it down below uh, in the comments. So Sabutio. Uh, this is, well, it's, some people call it table soccer, but it's called Sabutio. It's been around since like the late 40s um, when it was invented. It's changed a little bit, I mean, from like cut out figures to what it is today. Uh, I'll kind of show you a couple of these little guys. Um, while I do, before I do that, I would tell you. So I found it one night. I became obsessed with it instantly, um, and I'll I'll put some links to some of the comp competitive stuff that happened in 2018. Obviously, there hasn't been a lot since then, um, but you know, uh, immediately as as I often do, I become obsessed with this with the idea of the game because it's an active uh, kind of dexterity game. So. I'll show you. So I found this guy, um, Todd, I believe his name was, and I can look it up, but, you know, I don't know. Uh, right offhand, give me one second. So my wife's like, what are you doing? And I'll be like, streaming live on the internet. Let me see. Anyway, I found this guy in Illinois and um, talked to him, and he was selling something locally. And I got him to actually send it, um, uh, ship it to me. Uh, and he did a good job of that. It came uh, wonderfully packed. Um, and I will show you if I can get it to. If I can get this camera to zoom in on this little guy, this is um, one of the Sabutio players. This is what they consider a lightweight. Um, and we'll show you, uh, and this is a goalkeeper for it, which comes on a little stick. Which will become more apparent in a second when I show you some pictures. But there's a goalkeeper, he's on a little stick. Okay. So, um, so basically, you have a 
pitch to play on. It's like a nylon pitch. They have a bunch of different ones. Some of them are, you know, have changed over time. Uh, some of them are more kind of like play mats that we use for other games. Um, so you just kind of roll them up and roll them out um, and play on them. But um, let's see. So anyway, so I got the pitch and two teams and a couple of other things uh, from and basically a whole little starter set from uh, from this guy. Uh, and let me see real quick. I hate. I want to make sure he gets the credit that he deserves because he did an excellent job of setting that to me. And uh, Scott, not Todd, Scott, Scott, thank you. Uh, if you're if you check out the channel and see the video, um, but Sabuti has been around like I said since the late '40s, and it is um, some people call it flick soccer. Um, and I'll show you a couple of pictures of it, but um, they call it flick soccer, and or table soccer, or table football, so on and so forth. Um, and we're gonna pull it up here. It's live. I didn't plan very well when it came to the, all of these things. So let's get here to our imports. Uh, well, I import it. Where did it put it? Yeah, that's where it's supposed to be. Supposed to be in imports. And it did not. Huh. That's interesting. So we'll close that out. Anyway, so you basically have a full team, a full soccer team on the pitch, and you flick the little guy into the ball. Um, which is like right here. So the ball is quite a bit larger than quite a bit larger than the uh, there we go the figure. So I'll show you. Who do you do? So here's your dude. Here's the ball. But anyway, you flick that into this and knock it down the field uh, the pitch and try to score goals but actively your um, opponent is defending and uh, for every offensive flick you do they get a defensive flick and you basically battle almost like a soccer game uh, try to re re retain possession and get down and, and kick a goal and I'm trying to figure out right now why well let me pull these pictures up that I just imported so anyway uh, so it's pretty fun and while I look for that let's see Like I said, it's been much better, uh, much bigger in, you know, Italy and places like that. So that's why a lot of people in the U.S. haven't done it. Um, I will put some. Uh, I will put some links in the description for some of the American. Uh, Give me one second. All right. Give me two seconds here. I'm going to figure this out and figure out why it won't let me. Why 
why it's not importing these images. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. We'll take a quick look. Sorry, I know the dead air is not great, uh, but we'll uh, figure that out. We'll reconnect here, see if we can get these images. Import. And yes, boring, 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 waiting for me to find the things that I need. Could have been better prepared, but it is live. Anyway, um, actually, I got a better idea. We'll go ahead and pull this up here and show you. A, um, we'll just show you a quick video and this is from uh, FISTIV which is a Federation of International Sports Table Football it's a little bit more modernization modernized version of the game it uses a little bit different um, figures, but I want y'all to see this because I think it's cool. So I am going to just get to the point here because there's a lot of interesting things I want to get to an actual game. There we go. And we'll pull this up and well, this is great. Why is it set? Edit. Says for some reason the video is private and I don't want that. Make it public. Well, I've been talking and apparently to myself for a few minutes. So hopefully that works to where we can get. Uh, let me go back to. One second. Well, they've been talking for 30 minutes and no one could watch, so um, that's okay. It says that some people were able to watch. I don't know why it was set to private, so uh, if you're here and you've been able to watch, let me know. But we'll continue on. So I wanted to um, show you. Uh, let's see. Window capture. Uh, 
Nope, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Yeah, let's take that off. All right. Yeah. Let's do this again. Because. Nope. Stop that. All right. There we go. Well, this is going to cover up my face. There we go. So, we're going to bring it up to here. Sorry, it's so crazy, but uh, I'll do a better job next time. So, this is Sabutio kind of in its competitive environment. So... Uh, so for those who are, might just be joining, sorry, I guess the video was private for a little while, don't know why, but uh, this is, what I'm showing on the screen right now is Sabutio, and uh, and this is a kind of a more competitive form of it, but as you can see, there's uh, flicking, hitting the ball, one team has possession, uh, and then they're able to, you know, uh, try to move it down the field without, um, without letting the other team take possession by hitting their guys or missing hitting the ball, so on and so forth. And we'll have some like more some more video on it later but just kind of wanted to show you like show you how it works so but that is the video in its sport form and we can actually make that little listen here stop being that way Alright, anyway, we bring it down over here. Um, but we won't play it too long. Don't want to have some problems with Fistive. But that's from Fistive. That is the, the governing body for like the sport Sabutio. So, uh, check it out. Once again, I'll put the, um, go to YouTube, uh, Fistive Official, F-I-S-T-F official and uh, I'll put a link down in below once this video is done so we're gonna close that I want to play the whole thing not my video it is uh, this this video but anyway it's a video for those who are might have joined this is this video figure he is a tiny little dude soccer this is a Sabutio ball <laughs> Like this little dude, little ball. All right, so I'll have some videos on that later. Um, in particular, I want to have a video with another friend of mine, um, Jake, who hasn't been on before. Um, and uh, or we learn the game and so on and so forth. Or maybe someone else will do it with me. Who knows today? All right. Do, do, do. <laughs> oh, dog's barking. But anyway, so uh, let me know if you have any interest in that. And um, I'm going to try to do these on the weekdays, about 3 o'clock.
uh, for about 30 minutes. The next one will be a little bit more prepared for, a little bit more graphics. I just still don't understand why my files aren't importing. Um, stop it, dog. Yeah. Still don't understand why they're not importing correctly because I wanted to show you. And I am going to show you before I leave. I am dead set on it. Uh, change destination. if we can get it to import to another folder. Because I got my own set of Sabutio and I'm trying to show you the images. For some reason it doesn't want me to. Uh, yeah. So We'll see it. Try one more time. And yeah, doesn't seem there's anything in there for some reason. So I'll post those pictures on our Instagram of the table that we made for the pitch and a couple of other videos, uh, a couple of other things. Kind of, uh, we'll have some more videos coming soon. So, um, like I said, I want to try to do these once a day just to talk about uh, gaming in general. Uh, also, too, want to make a call. Uh, I guess a call out or call for uh, any diecast racing people, diecast racing community members. I uh, still want to do meet the drivers. I had to take a break because of the job there for a little while, but. I uh, really want to get that back started. So if anybody out there wants to be on the show, um, you have Zoom, a microphone, headset, earbuds, something that you can isolate your sounds uh, and access to Zoom, uh, we can do that really easily. Uh, usually it's about an hour. <laughs> the dogs and the cats in the background, but usually it's about an hour uh, or so, depending on how interesting the conversation gets. Uh, but it doesn't matter to me what... Um, what you do in the diecast community, whether you are a collector or um, parts creator or you know any of those things, uh, go to our Facebook, which is already linked, should already be linked in the description, uh, and message me um, or my my personal one too, um, David Davis, uh, which anybody who's in the groups with me knows that one. Send me a message. We'll figure out a time, and we'll talk about diecasts. So I'm always into that. And speaking of diecasts, to end the video, this is my diecast of the day. Uh, I'll mispronounce it: Angelia Panel Truck Hot Wheels. Uh, I love panel vehicles. So brought to you by Tiny Hot Rod Association, of course. Um, but this is the Angelia Panel Truck. I believe it's from like. 99 2000 somewhere around there so anyway thank y'all for watching uh, I said I want to keep these about 30 minutes 30 45 minutes um, I've been going for 40 minutes now sorry about the mix-ups but it'll let me learn how to um, do it better next time so uh, once again find us at facebook uh, facebook.com Forward slash what game now? Um, Instagram is what game now? I believe uh, Twitter is what game now live. Um, but for now, we concentrate on Instagram. Make sure you like, subscribe, subscribe, um, share is another big one. Comment, interact with us. Um, there's been some comments that we haven't replied back to yet, but we will get to them eventually. Um, thank you very much and. Have a great day. Oh, keep asking the question.